Hi friends, here is Ajay from Ajay RP Economy Bangalore. In this video, we are going to see the one of the blue prism inventory question that is, what is session management in blue prism RP? So, go to blue prism, create one sample process in process studio. Let me assign a name for this one that is like a session management. So, demo process. I click on next and assign a meaningful description for this one then create only one sample process here now I'm defining two variables for this program so counter initial value is uh, okay data item is data type is number initial value is zero and define another data item that is uh, max loops and go to data type is number and select like an initial value is assign initial value is 10 and go to calculation then you can assign a name for this one like a increment and drag and drop the counter and plus one will resides in counter click on ok then go to the decision stage give a like a decision here whether it's greater than or less than or less than or equal to greater than or equal to whatever it is so we can apply the logic functions for this decision stage click on ok and then use an anchor stage to connect it so link all the stages So reset it, then run it. Right now it's working fine. And let me stop it. So reset it, and let me publish this one from the process manage process information stage. So if you select this check button, you can see publish this process to control room. So I click on OK. Then save it, and then close it. Then go to control room. There you can see like a session management demo process. Just drag and drop onto the so okay. Let me explain about this uh, control room. The control room is divided like a three sessions. So one is session management, queues management, and schedule management. And now we are seeing like a session management, and the session management will show us like you know all three sessions available processes means that the process which we have already defined designed in and uh, published in from process studio and the available resources will show like all available machines in the in uh, this machine and the environment is like a combination of both processes and resources and will show like on different statuses right look okay, let me drag and drop on the process onto the bot or we can drag and drop the bot onto the so process it's not a big deal okay next let me drag and drop onto the bot now you can see the status is the pending so whenever the status is under pending, will shows you like you know orange color. Let me highlight this one and click on start selection. Or else you can start from here. Also give a right mouse click and uh, you can start from here. Okay. Start selection. Now it's a completed. So whenever it's completed, whenever the process is completed, it will shows you like you know blue color. And let me do one thing. Let me go back to the uh, process studio. Let me increase like the maximum loops from 10 to 10,000. Now you can see will allow us you we can view the process while it is running while the machine is working with the process. So go back to control room, just drag and drop onto the board. Now you can see so highlight like a pending stage and click on start selection. You can run it from here also. Just start it. Now it's running, will show showing like you know green color and let me create like one more process now I am saving the same process with some other name save as like a session management demo 
and let me publish this one. Then save it and run it. Save it and close it. Let's go to control room. Just save it to come to the database. Save changes. Then go to control room. There you can select two processes here. And the earlier one is rather completed. Okay, let me drag and drop two processes onto the board. Now the two processes are the status of two processes are like a pending. So to run like a multiple processes, use control button. Press control and highlight the process. Give a right mouse click and then click on start. Now those two processes are running by machine. Also running. So both are completed. Suppose if it is terminated by the machine, so what it shows. So let me go back to the process and let me do it like one mistake intentionally. So let me unlink it. So save the process. Save changes, then go to control room. So drag and drop onto the board. Now you can see the like you know it's the pending status and click on start selection. Now it is terminated by the machine, then we can see like you know black color. All right, let me fix it back. Use a, like a link stage. And go to control room. Just let me drag and drop the session management demo onto the machine. Right now it's highlight the pending. Then you know highlight this process. Click on start selection. Now it is running. So let me if I if I stop like you know immediate stop or forced or like request to stop. Which will let me see like you know, what color it shows. So it starts to show like a red color. Means while it's pending shows orange, while it's complete shows like a blue, and whenever it's like you no know, forceful stop shows like a red, and while it's running it shows a green, and if it's terminated by the machine it will shows like you no know, black colors. So it will shows like you no know, five different colors. So while the process is running by the machine. So the resources area here is like a resources area so we'll sh okay give a right mouse click and you can see like you know members capabilities and available resources so it shows us all list of all sources resources or systems which are available as a platforms on which to run business processes so by right clicking on the resources so will you, you know we can we all allow we will always select you know, selection of viewing mode with large icons here we are seeing like you know only one uh, uh, only one machine that's why it's not showing that option okay and here it shows all available process so here it shows like you know all available like you know, uh, like a processes which are like uh, running by the machine 